Toastmaster Philip Opera. Opera Toastmaster Philip. A big, tall, looking man was standing in front of me, and he said this to me. Sir, I will need to stop you from getting in, because this is the formal attire, and you're required to wear a formal attire. <laughs> so, excuse me, formal event, you need to wear a formal attire. Without a second thought, I took up my cheap dark blazer, put it on, and I went in. What am I getting into? Fellow Toastmaster and invited guests, a very wonderful evening to all of you. These vivid memories happened when I was in London with a friend, and all of a sudden, we decided to try something new. Not knowing, it has become a life-changing experience. Opera, the unfading entertainment of the music. World. When I mention the word opera, what is the first thing that strikes into your mind? Singing, singing, singing. We will think about performer standing on the stage, performing musical drama, singing in a different dialect that will make you go, what? Did he just say banana? <laughs> or did he just say banana? <laughs> and people singing in a very high and ridiculous <coughs> tone of singing that doesn't make sense. If you're given a choice to choose between opera and Beyonce concert, which one will you choose? Opera. Number <laughs> 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 one opera. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me excite you with my personal <laughs> experience. And may you all choose, beside Ellen, Oprah over Beyonce concerts. <laughs> I, myself, originally thought that opera are only meant for those retirees, senior citizens, and not for a young man like me. Unfortunately, I was proven wrong. Those misleading words spread out by people, such as people dress up in a funny way, in the colorful textures, with flower of fix onto their outfits, that make us difficult to differentiate. Is that a male or a female? And they're singing in a high tone that doesn't make sense in rhythm. They're going to go wild. Those misleading words were immediately replaced and eliminated when I joined my very first opera in London. This is what happened on that very Sunday. With no ex high expectation, I was sitting in the middle section of the hall, having my eyes fixed to the white empty stage. Silent. And suddenly, a beacon of light shine onto the actors that mark the beginning of the show. You can hear drum rolling that shake the ground. Echoes still can be heard after the drum roll has stopped. Suddenly, at the corner of your eyes, you see props were maneuvering by itself from the higher end towards the lower end, from the back to the fourth. Wow, this is simply amazing. Just like magic. <laughs> and why is more magical? It is all happened right in front of the naked eyes. You can see actors and actresses dress up in a classy, bright, historical outfit that carries your imagination back to the past century. Just like an old country movie. And it's not all about their historical outfit, but also they all a very heavenly angelic voice that can paint your imagination. They can sing as gentle as the wave hit the shore. 
control. And they can uplift your spirit with their high tone, just like a rumbling thunder before a storm, before a strike. And unnoticedly, they can touch, their voice can touch your soul. Their voice can steal your heart. And unconsciously, you chill your tears out from your eyes. I remember there is one time, there is one act. The act is about war. You can see good people and bandits were fighting each other. Bandits were holding sharp blades. Fire was continuous spitting from the ground. Mist slowly coming onto the stage. Just like a long battle. In this scene, Music instrument were used to accommodate the entire scene and to assemble separate your listening part. And in the end, after the battle had ended, you can feel the sorcerer wind fall gently, just like a kiss onto your face. Ladies and gentlemen, opera is not only an entertain entertainment. But it's a way of life, it's a culture, it is a history where countless people put countless of hours together just to inspire you to look at things differently. Now if you happen to stumble upon an open schedule while you are traveling or in your local place, in your local locations, please do not wait because opera waits. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much for such a wonderful speech. Um, I'm sure that it reminds you your memories of some of the opera you have watched on a television or or listened to on the radio. And definitely it reminded me how these opera singers break the glasses from the sound. <laughs> <laughs>